Avocado The avocado per se americana is a tree originating in the Americas, which is likely native to the highland regions of south-central Mexico, to Guatemala. It is classified as a member of the flowering plant family Lauraceae. The fruit of the plant, also called an avocado or avocado pear or alligator pear, is botanically a large berry containing a single large seed. Avocado trees are partially self-pollinating and are often propagated through grafting to maintain predictable fruit quality and quantity. Avocados are cultivated in tropical and Mediterranean climates of many countries, with Mexico as the leading producer of avocados in 2019, supplying 32% of the world total. The fruit of domestic varieties has a buttery flesh when ripe. Depending on the variety, avocados have green-brown, purplish or black skin when ripe, and may be pear-shaped, egg-shaped, or spherical. Commercially, the fruits are picked while immature and ripened after harvesting. Botany Percy Americana is a tree that grows to 20 m 66 ft, with alternately arranged leaves 12 25 cm 5 10 in long. Panicles of flowers with deciduous bracts arise from new growth or the axils of leaves. The flowers are inconspicuous, greenish-yellow, 5-10 mm 3-16-3-8 in wide. The species is variable because of selection pressure by humans to produce larger, fleshier fruits with a thinner exocarp. The avocado fruit is a climacteric, single-seeded berry due to the imperceptible endocarp covering the seed rather than a droop. The pear-shaped fruit is usually 720 cm 38 in long ways between 100 and 1000 g3 plus 1 slash 2 and 35 plus 1 slash 2 oz and has a large central seed 56.4 cm 2 2 plus 1 slash 2 in long. History Percy Americana or the avocado possibly originated in the Tehuacan Valley in the state of Puebla, Mexico, although fossil evidence suggests similar species were much more widespread millions of years ago. However, there is evidence for three possible separate domestications of the avocado, resulting in the currently recognized Mexican Ayacatl, Guatemalan Quilea cattle, and West Indian Tilacacalea cattle land races. The Mexican and Guatemalan land races originated in the highlands of those countries, while the West Indian land race is a lowland variety that ranges from Guatemala, Costa Rica, Colombia, Ecuador to Peru, achieving a wide range through human agency before the arrival of the Europeans. The three separate land races were most likely to have already intermingled in pre-Columbian America and were described in the Florentine Codex. The earliest residents of northern coastal Peru were living in temporary camps in an ancient wetland and eating avocados, along with chiles, mollusks, sharks, birds, and sea lions. The oldest discovery of an avocado pit comes from Coxcatlan Cave. Other caves in the Tehuacan Valley from around the same time period also show early evidence for the presence and consumption of avocado. There is evidence for avocado use at North Chico civilization sites in Peru by at least 3,200 years ago and at Cabello Muerto in Peru from around 3,800 to 4,500 years ago. The native, undomesticated variety is known as a criollo and is small with dark black skin and contains a large seed. It probably co-evolved with extinct megafauna. In 1982, evolutionary biologist Daniel H. Jansen concluded that the avocado is an example of an evolutionary anachronism, a fruit adapted for ecological relationship with now extinct large mammals, such as giant ground sloths or gomfathers. Most large fleshy fruits serve the function of seed dispersal, accomplished by their consumption by large animals. There are some reasons to think that the fruit, with its mildly toxic pit, may have co-evolved with Pleistocene megafauna to be swallowed whole and excreted in their dung ready to sprout. No extant native animal is large enough to effectively disperse avocado seeds in this fashion. The avocado tree also has a long history of cultivation in Central and South America, likely beginning as early as 5000 BC. A water jar shaped like an avocado, 
dating to AD 900, was discovered in the pre-Incan city of Chan Chan. The earliest known written account of the avocado in Europe is that of Martin Fernandez de Enciso circa 1470-1528 in 1519 in his book Summa de Geografia Quetrata de Todas las Partidas y Provincias del Mundo. The first detailed account that unequivocally describes the avocado was given by Gonzalo Fernandez de Ovidó y Valdes in his work Sumario, de la Natural Historia de los Indies in 1526. The first written record in English of the use of the word avocado was by Hans Sloan, who coined the term in a 1696 index of Jamaican plants. The plant was introduced to Spain in 1601, Indonesia around 1750, Mauritius in 1780, Brazil in 1809, the United States mainland in 1825, South Africa and Australia in the late 19th century, and the Ottoman Empire in 1908. In the United States, the avocado was introduced to Florida and Hawaii in 1833 and in California in 1856. Before 1915, the avocado was commonly referred to in California as a huecate and in Florida as alligator pear. In 1915, the California Avocado Association introduced the then innovative term avocado to refer to the plant. Etymology The word avocado comes from the Spanish aguacate, which in turn comes from the Nahuatl word ahuacatl, a wacatl, derived from the proto aztecan asterisk pa wa word avocado, avocado. The modern English name comes from a rendering of the Spanish aguacate as avogato. The earliest known written use in English is attested from 1697 as avogato pear, a term which later underwent folk etymology to become alligator pear. Regional names In other Central American and Caribbean Spanish-speaking countries, it is known by the Mexican name, while South American Spanish-speaking countries use a Quechua-derived word, paltum. In Portuguese, it is abacate. The fruit is sometimes called an avocado pear or alligator pear due to its shape and the rough green skin of some cultivars. The Nahuatl ahuacatl can be compounded with other words, as an ahuacamale, meaning avocado soup or sauce from which the Spanish word guacamole derives. In the United Kingdom, the term avocado pear is still sometimes misused as applied when avocados first became commonly available in the 1960s. Originating as a diminutive in Australian English, a clipped form of O has since become a common colloquialism in South Africa and the United Kingdom. It is known as butter fruit in parts of India. Cultivation As a subtropical species, avocados need a climate without frost and with little wind. High winds reduce the humidity, dehydrate the flowers, and affect pollination. When even a mild frost occurs, premature fruit drop may occur, although the Haas cultivar can tolerate temperatures down to one deg C. Several cold hardy varieties are planted in the region of Gainesville, Florida, which survive temperatures as low as 6.5 deg C, 20 deg F with only minor leaf damage. The trees also need well aerated soils, ideally more than one in deep. According to information published by the Water Footprint Network, it takes an average of approximately 70 liters, 18 U.S. gallons, 15 imperial gallons of applied fresh ground or surface water, not including rainfall or natural moisture in the soil, to grow one avocado 283L slash kg 33.9 U.S. gal slash LB. However, the amount of water needed depends on where it is grown, for example, in the main avocado growing region of Chile, about 320 L85 US gal, 70 M gal of applied water are needed to grow one avocado 1280 L kg 153 US gal LB, 128 M gal LB. Increasing demand and production of avocados may cause water shortages in some avocado production areas, such as the Mexican state of Michoacan. Avocados may also cause environmental and socioeconomic impacts in major production areas, illegal deforestation, and water disputes.
water requirements for growing avocados are three times higher than for apples and 18 times higher than for tomatoes. Harvest and post-harvest. Commercial orchards produce an average of 7 tons per hectare each year, with some orchards achieving 20 tons per hectare. Biennial bearing can be a problem, with heavy crops in one year being followed by poor yields the next. Like the banana, the avocado is a climacteric fruit, which matures on the tree, but ripens off the tree. Avocados used in commerce are picked hard and green and kept in coolers at 3.3 to 5.6 deg C37.9 to 42.1 deg F until they reach their final destination. Avocados must be mature to ripen properly. Avocados that fall off the tree ripen on the ground. Generally, the fruit is picked once it reaches maturity. Mexican growers pick ass avocados when they have more than 23% dry matter, and other producing countries have similar standards. Once picked, avocados ripen in one to two weeks depending on the cultivar at room temperature faster if stored with other fruits, such as apples or bananas, because of the influence of ethylene gas. Some supermarkets sell ripened avocados which have been treated with synthetic ethylene to hasten ripening. The use of an ethylene gas ripening room, which is now an industry standard, was pioneered in the 1980s by farmer Gil Henry of Escondido, California, in response to footage from a hidden supermarket camera, which showed shoppers repeatedly squeezing hard, unripe avocados, putting them back in the bin, and moving on without making a purchase. In some cases, avocados can be left on the tree for several months, which is an advantage to commercial growers who seek the greatest return for their crop. But, if the fruit remains unpicked for too long, it falls to the ground. Breeding The species is only partially able to self-pollinate because of dichigami in its flowering. This limitation, added to the long juvenile period, makes the species difficult to breed. Most cultivars are propagated by grafting, having originated from random seedling plants or minor mutations derived from cultivars. Modern breeding programs tend to use isolation plots where the chances of cross-pollination are reduced. That is the case for programs at the University of California, Riverside, as well as the Volcani Center and the Instituto de Investigaciones Agropecuarias in Chile. The avocado is unusual in that the timing of the male and female flower phases differs among cultivars. The two flowering types are A and B. A cultivar flowers open as female on the morning of the first day and close in late morning or early afternoon. Then they open as male in the afternoon of the second day. The varieties open as female on the afternoon of the first day, close in late afternoon and reopen as male the following morning. A cultivars has Gwen, Lamb has Pinkerton, Re, the cultivars Fuert, Charwill, Ciutano, Bacon, Ettinger, Surprise, Walter Hole certain cultivars, such as the Haas, have a tendency to bear well only in alternate years. After a season with a low yield, due to factors such as cold which the avocado does not tolerate well, the trees tend to produce abundantly the next season. In addition, due to environmental circumstances during some years, seedless avocados may appear on the trees. Known in the avocado industry as cukes, they are usually discarded commercially due to their small size. Propagation and rootstocks Avocados can be propagated by seed, taking roughly four to six years to bear fruit, although in some cases seedlings can take ten years to come into bearing. The offspring is unlikely to be identical to the parent cultivar in fruit quality. Prime quality varieties are therefore propagated by grafting to rootstocks that are propagated by seed seedling rootstocks or by layering clonal rootstocks. After about a year of growing in a greenhouse, the young rootstocks are ready to be grafted. Terminal and lateral grafting is normally used. The Sion cultivar grows for another 6-12 months before the tree is ready to be sold. Clonal rootstocks are selected for tolerance of specific soil and disease conditions, such as poor soil aeration or resistance to the soil-borne disease root rot caused by Phytophthora. 
advances in cloning techniques that can produce up to 500 new plants from a single millimeter of tree cutting have the potential to increase the availability of root stocks. Commercial avocado production is limited to a small fraction of the vast genetic diversity in the species. Conservation of this genetic diversity has relied largely on field collection, as avocado seeds often do not survive storage in seed banks. This is problematic as field preservation of living cultivars is expensive and habitat loss threatens wild cultivars. More recently, an alternate method of conservation has been developed based on cryopreservation of avocado somatic embryos with reliable methods. As a houseplant, the avocado tree can be grown domestically and used as a decorative houseplant. The pit germinates in normal soil conditions or partially submerged in a small glass or container of water. In the latter method, the pit sprouts in four to six weeks, at which time it is planted in standard houseplant potting soil. The plant normally grows large enough to be prunable. It does not bear fruit unless it has ample sunlight. Home gardeners can graft a branch from a fruit-bearing plant to speed maturity, which typically takes four to six years to bear fruit. Pests and diseases. Avocado trees are vulnerable to bacterial, viral, fungal, and nutritional diseases excesses and deficiencies of key minerals. Disease can affect all parts of the plant, causing spotting, rotting cankers, pitting, and discoloration. The piriform scale insect protopulvinaria piriformis is known from Australia, South Africa, Israel, Italy, France, Spain, Cuba, Florida, and Peru. It is normally found on avocado, and in Peru it is said to be the worst insect pest of the fruit. Certain cultivars of avocado seem more susceptible to attack by the scale than others. Cultivation by location. Cultivation in Mexico. Mexico is by far the world's largest avocado growing country, producing several times more than the second largest producer. In 2013, the total area dedicated to avocado production was 188,723 hectares, 415,520 acres, and the harvest was 2.3 million tons in 2017. The states that produce the most are Mexico, Morlos, Nayarit, Puebla, and Michoacan, accounting for 86% of the total. In Michoacan, the cultivation is complicated by the existence of drug cartels that extort protection fees from cultivators. They are reported to exact 2,000 Mexican pesos per hectare from avocado farmers and 1 to 3 pesos slash kg of harvested fruit. Cultivation in California, California. The avocado was introduced from Mexico to California in the 19th century and has become a successful cash crop. About 24,000 hectares, 59,000 acres, some 95% of United States avocado production is located in Southern California, with 60% in San Diego County. Fallbrook, California, claims without official recognition the title of avocado capital of the world also claimed by the town of Uruapan in Mexico, and both Fallbrook and Carpinteria, California, host annual avocado festivals. Avocado is the official fruit of the state of California. Cultivation in Peru Pass avocado production in Peru encompasses thousands of hectares in central and western Peru. Peru has now become the largest supplier of avocados imported to the European Union and the second largest supplier to Asia and the United States. Peru's location near the equator and along the Pacific Ocean creates consistently mild temperatures all year. Pass avocados from Peru are seasonally available to consumers from May through September and are promoted under the auspices of the Peruvian Avocado Commission, headquartered in Washington, D.C. Cultivation in Chile The county of Chile has produced avocados for over 100 years, however, production increased dramatically in the early 1980s due to global demand. 88% of total production and 99% of exported avocados from Chile are Hass avocados. Avocados are a staple fruit in Chile and 30% of production is destined for the domestic market. 
Chile pays zero important tariffs with the China, United States, and the European Union due to free trade agreements. Cultivars A cultivars Chiquette A seedling from Miami, Florida. Chiquette bore large fruit of good eating quality in large quantities and had good disease resistance, and thus became a major cultivar. Today, Chiquette is widely propagated in South Florida both for commercial growing and for home growing. When a seedling bred from Hass Till in 1982. When is higher yielding and more dwarfing than Hass in California? The fruit has an oval shape, slightly smaller than Hass 100, 200 G or 3 plus 1 slash 2 7 Oz with a rich, nutty flavor. The skin texture is more finely pebbled than Hass and is dull green when ripe. It is frost hardy down to 1 deg C 30 deg F. Hass has Hass 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 Hass. The Hass is the most common cultivar of avocado. It produces fruit year-round and accounts for 80% of cultivated avocados in the world. All Hass trees are descended from a single mother tree raised by a male carrier named Rudolf Hass of La Habra Heights, California. Hass patented the productive tree in 1935. The mother tree of uncertain subspecies died of root rot and was cut down in September 2002. Lul a seedling reportedly grown from a Taft avocado planted in Miami on the property of George Sellin. It is named after Sellin's wife, Lula. It was likely a cross between Mexican and Guatemalan types. Lula was recognized for its flavor and high oil content and propagated commercially in Florida. A relatively new cultivar, it was discovered in South Africa in the early 1990s by Mr. A. G. Dries Jaubert. It is a chance seedling of unknown parentage. Pinkerton, 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 and Pinkerton. First grown on the Pinkerton Ranch in Satakoy, California, in the early 1970s, Pinkerton is a seedling of Hass X. Rinken. The large fruit has a small seed and its green skin deepens in color as it ripens. The thick flesh has a smooth, creamy texture, pale green color, good flavor, and high oil content. It shows some cold tolerance to 1 deg C30 deg F and bears consistently heavy crops. A hybrid Guatemalan type, it has excellent peeling characteristics. Reed, developed from a chance seedling found in 1948 by James S. Reed in California, this cultivar has large, round, green fruit with a smooth texture and dark, thick, glossy skin. Smooth and delicate, the flesh has a slightly nutty flavor. The skin ripens green. A Guatemalan type, it is hardy to 1 deg C30 deg F. Tree size is about 5 by 4 and 16 plus 1 slash 2 by 13 FT. The cultivars Charwell Developed by James Cockburn, Wilson died 1990 with Frank Victor Sharp in Tambourine Mountain, Queensland, Australia in the 1950s, a portmanteau of Sharp and Wilson. Wilson also developed the Willard variety Wilson and Hazard imported the Reed variety into Australia and developed the Shepherd variety. Sharp was later awarded a CMG in 1972 for services to the avocado industry. The variety originated in Guatemala. Other cultivars Other avocado cultivars include Sphinx, historically attested varieties which may or may not survive among horticulturists include the Challenge, Dickinson, Kissed Queen, Ray Royal, Sharpless, and Taft, Taft. Stoneless Avocado A stoneless avocado, marketed as a cocktail avocado, which does not contain a pit, is available on a limited basis. They are 5 to 8 centimeters long. The whole fruit may be eaten, including the skin. 
It is produced from an unpollinated blossom in which the seed does not develop. Seedless avocados regularly appear on trees. Known in the avocado industry as cukes, they are usually discarded commercially due to their small size. Production In 2019, world production of avocados was 7.2 million tons, led by Mexico with 32%, 2.3 million tons of the total table. Other major producers were Dominican Republic, Peru, Colombia, and Indonesia, together producing 31% of the world total. Despite market effects of the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, volume production of avocados in Mexico increased by 40% over 2019 levels. In 2018, the U.S. Department of Agriculture estimated that 231,028 hectares, 570,000, 880 acres in total were under cultivation for avocado production in Mexico, a 6% increase over the previous year, and that 2 million tons would be exported. The Mexican state of Michoacan is the world leader in avocado production, accounting for 80% of all Mexican output. Most Mexican growers produce the Haas variety due to its longer shelf life for shipping and high demand among consumers. Market 76% of Mexico's avocado exports go to the United States, with the free trade agreement between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico in July 2020 facilitating avocado shipments within the North American free trade zone. The Mexican domestic market was expanding during 2020. Mexican avocado exports are challenged by growth of production by Peru and the Dominican Republic to supply the U.S. and European markets. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Mexican avocado farmers restricted harvesting as the overall demand and supply chain slowed due to labor and shipping restrictions. Later in 2020, demand in the United States and within Mexico increased at a time when American retail prices continued to rise. During 2020 in the United States, Month-to-month -month volume sales of avocados were similar to those of tomatoes at about 250 million pounds, 110 million kg per month. A report issued in Midminus 2020 forecast that the worldwide market, which was U.S. $13.07 billion in 2018, would recover after the end of the pandemic and rise to U.S. $21.06 billion by 2026. Culinary Uses the fruit of horticultural cultivars has a markedly higher fat content than most other fruit, mostly monounsaturated fat, and as such serves as an important staple in the diet of consumers who have limited access to other fatty foods, high fat meats and fish, dairy products. Having a high smoke point, avocado oil is expensive compared to common salad and cooking oils and is mostly used for salads or dips. A ripe avocado yields to gentle pressure when held in the palm of the hand and squeezed. The flesh is prone to enzymatic browning, quickly turning brown after exposure to air. To prevent this, lime or lemon juice can be added to avocados after peeling. The fruit is not sweet, but distinctly and subtly flavored, with smooth texture. It is used in both savory and sweet dishes, though in many countries not for both. The avocado is common in vegetarian cuisine as a substitute for meats in sandwiches and salads because of its high fat content. Generally, avocado is served raw, though some cultivars, including the common Hass, can be cooked for a short time without becoming bitter. The flesh of some avocados may be rendered inedible by heat. Prolonged cooking induces this chemical reaction in all cultivars. It is used as the base for the Mexican dip known as guacamole, as well as a spread on corn tortillas or toast, served with spices. Avocado is a primary ingredient in avocado soup. Avocado slices are frequently added to hamburgers and tortas, and is a key ingredient in California rolls and other makizushi maki, or rolled sushi. In various countries, in the Philippines, Brazil, Indonesia, Vietnam, and southern India, especially the coastal Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka region, avocados are frequently used for milkshakes and occasionally added to ice cream and other desserts. In Brazil, Vietnam, 
the Philippines and Indonesia, a dessert drink is made with sugar, milk or water, and pureed avocado. Chocolate syrup is sometimes added. In Morocco, a similar chilled avocado and milk drink is sweetened with confectioner's sugar and flavored with a touch of orange flower water. In Ethiopia, avocados are made into juice by mixing them with sugar and milk or water, usually served with vinto and a slice of lemon. It is also common to serve layered multiple fruit juices in a glass locally called spice made of avocados, mangoes, bananas, guavas, and papayas. Avocados are also used to make salads. Avocados in savory dishes, often seen as exotic, are a relative novelty in Portuguese-speaking countries, such as Brazil, where the traditional preparation is mashed with sugar and lime and eaten as a dessert or snack. This contrasts with Spanish-speaking countries, such as Chile, Mexico, or Argentina, where the opposite is true and sweet preparations are rare. In Australia and New Zealand, avocados are commonly served on sandwiches, sushi toast, or with chicken. In Ghana, they are often eaten alone on sliced bread as a sandwich. In Sri Lanka, their well-ripened flesh, thoroughly mashed or pureed with milk and kittel treacle, a liquid jaggery made from the sap of the inflorescence of jaggery palms, is a common dessert. In Haiti, they are often consumed with cassava or regular bread for breakfast. In Mexico and Central America, avocados are served mixed with white rice in soups, salads, or on the side of chicken and meat. They are also commonly added to puzzle. In Peru, they are consumed with tequinos as mayonnaise served as a side dish with parillas used in salads and sandwiches or as a whole dish when filled with tuna, shrimp, or chicken. In Chile, it is used as a puree-like sauce with chicken, hamburgers, and hot dogs, and in slices for celery or lettuce salads. The Chilean version of Caesar salad contains large slices of mature avocado. In Kenya and Nigeria, the avocado is often eaten as a fruit alone or mixed with other fruits in a fruit salad or as part of a vegetable salad. In the United Kingdom, the avocado became available during the 1960s when introduced by Sainsbury's under the name Avocado Pear. Much of the success of avocados in the UK is attributed to a long-running promotional campaign initiated by South African growers in 1995. Leaves In addition to the fruit, the leaves of Mexican avocados Percy Americana Var, Drymifolia are used in some cuisines as a spice, with a flavor somewhat reminiscent of anise. They are sold both dried and fresh, toasted before use, and either crumbled or used whole, commonly in bean dishes. Leaves of P. Americana, watermelon variety, are toxic to goats, sheep, and horses. Nutrition and Health Nutrients s -s 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 Raw avocado flesh is 73% water, 15% fat, 9% carbohydrates, and 2% protein table. In a 100-gram reference amount, avocado supplies 160 calories and is a rich source 20% or more of the daily value DV of several B vitamins such as 28% DV in pantothenic acid and vitamin K 20% DV with moderate contents 10-19% DV of vitamin C, vitamin E, and pot Avocados also contain phytosterols and carotenoids, such as lutein and zeaxanthin. Fat composition. Avocados have diverse fats. For a typical one, about 75% of an avocado's energy comes from fat, most of which 67% of total fat is monounsaturated fat, as oleic acid table. Other predominant fats include palmitic acid and linoleic acid. The saturated fat content amounts to 14% of the total fat. Typical total fat composition is roughly 1% ominous 3, 14% ominous 6, 71% ominous 9, 65% oleic and 6% palmitolic, and 14% saturated. Although costly to produce, nutrient-rich avocado oil has a multitude of uses for salads or cooking and in cosmetics and soap products. Allergies 
Some people have allergic reactions to avocado. There are two main forms of allergy. Those with a tree pollen allergy develop local symptoms in the mouth and throat shortly after eating avocado. The second, known as latex fruit syndrome, is related to latex allergy and symptoms include generalized urticaria, abdominal pain, and vomiting and can sometimes be life-threatening. Toxicity to animals, sss, animals, avocado leaves, bark, skin, or pit are documented to be harmful to animals, cats, dogs, cattle, goats, rabbits, rats, guinea pigs, birds, fish, and horses can be severely harmed or even killed when they consume them. The avocado fruit is poisonous to some birds, and the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals as Cal lists it as toxic to horses. Avocado leaves contain a toxic fatty acid derivative, person, which in sufficient quantity can cause colic in horses, and without veterinary treatment, death. The symptoms include gastrointestinal irritation, vomiting, diarrhea, respiratory distress, congestion, fluid accumulation around the tissues of the heart, and even death. Birds also seem to be particularly sensitive to this toxic compound. A line of premium dog and cat food, avoderm, uses oils and meal made from avocado meat as main ingredients. Avoderm claimed in 2013 that the toxicity is only found in the leaves and pit of Guatemalan avocados which they don't use. They said that the fruit was often eaten by orchard dogs as well as wildlife such as bears and coyotes. A newer version of the webpage references a Dr. Gene Dodds, DVM who claims that person is harmless to dogs and cats and that avocado is only a choking hazard. Explanatory Notes